Welcome back. It's another Mental Wellness Wednesday. Our friend Dr. Tracy Alloway is back. And today we are talking about luck. Tomorrow is St. Patrick's Day. Luck's on everyone's <laughs> mind. That's right. But it's kind of the science behind it, as we always talk about, the science <laughs> behind it. Mm -hmm. How we exactly. think. Exactly. That's right. So let's talk about luck and how it relates to psychology because some people watching might think like, oh, where is this headed? <laughs> so, so is there any benefit to me to believe in lucky things and be superstitious? Yes, for starters, research shows that when you believe in luck, you actually perform better, you act better. But there's a way that you can change your luck and control your luck. Sometimes having an, a lucky object is your brain's way of gaining control back for something that you may feel you've lost control over. So psychology I'll just talk about three personality traits that you can adopt or nurture to kind of boost your own sense of luck. All right, hey, so what's well, one of them? They? What's one of them, yeah. Being extroverted. So oftentimes, if uh, you know people who feel that they're lucky, they're the extroverted ones. They're the ones putting themselves out there, starting conversations, making connections that, that may then lead to something fortuitous, something opportunistic. It makes perfect <laughs> yeah. sense. Yeah, no, it so does. So the takeaway is talk more. <laughs> talk more. I'm talk guessing more. listen more goes along with that, though, too. Also like, true. Yeah, but, but it makes perfect sense. I mean, if I'm saying, how lucky was I to be in the right place at the right time? Well, I'm there because I'm extroverted. I went out there and I went and put myself in Yeah, it's almost in, that in a way you're making your own luck. Yes. You know, you're the yes. captain of your mm -hmm. ship. So. Yes. And like that is your next one, trying different things. Yes, yeah, so this relates to the personality trait, openness to new experiences. Mm -hmm. And oftentimes we feel comfortable and familiar doing things that we've done all along. But there's research to show that when we try something new or when we do something, even with an open mind, like, hey, you know what? I'll have coffee by myself today. Maybe, you know, it'll open up the doors to something different, a new exchange, and that can lead to something lucky. <laughs> now, this is interesting. Take the long way round. What exactly does that mean? Yeah, so this relates to another personality trait called conscientiousness. Conscientiousness is this idea of being highly responsible, goal-directed, but an interesting research found that they, they gave people a page of photographs and asked them, count the number of photographs on this. And, you know, people who are highly conscientious were busy counting the number of photographs, but if they had turned the page over and kind of taken the long way, looked to see what was out there, they would have noticed the number written up there, and they would have even noticed an, a prize. If you see this, you automatically get $250 as a prize bonus. So sometimes not being goal-directed, not being immediately, hey, I've got to get from A to B as quickly as possible, can open yourself up to new experiences that then can help you create create something lucky. It's pretty interesting because we're talking about luck, but it's really how you're wired, having new experiences, being mm -hmm. open. Mm -hmm. It's almost like living life, you know, mm -hmm. that's helping you to absorb more and kind of find your way into different situations. I like that. It is talking about a mindset shift, yeah. a perspective shift, that we're not lucky by fate or by the environment, but you can actually do something by being more open, by being more extroverted and so on. And I, they, there's yeah. that saying, you make your own luck. Yes. Well, it, it's, it's, Almost, and this is way an oversimplification, but saying like, how is Tracy so lucky she always wins the lottery, but yet I never play it. You know, exactly. I mean, if you're out there mm -hmm. meeting the people, talking to people, turning your page over to see what's on the back, you're going to find the little things in life that I might miss completely if I'm not out there doing those things. So there is a psychological <laughs> element to luck after all. There and, is. And the lucky shirt that actually is your brain making things a little easier. That's right? right. There's lots of research to show that lucky shirt, that lucky dress, that lucky charm actually convinces you that you are more capable and you tend to perform better as a result. And, <laughs> and if I wear it and my team plays better, we can't explain that. There but, you go. This is science. Yeah, but this is a, a, another edition of Mental Wellness Wednesday. Dr. Tracy Alloway, always very accessible. You can find her on social media as well as on her website, tracyalloway.com very open to covering subjects that are of interest to you. So make the connection. And we always appreciate having you here. Thank you for having me. And good luck with everything <laughs> you do. And, and you as well. Right, thank you. We're going to be right back.